Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here in my time at Sandrock. How are you people doing? Hope you are doing well. So I did build all the parts for the airship and we are gonna build it. Yeah, we are going to build it right now at this time of hour, that's like 5 5. But uh, what better time? This is the best time. We have everything, we need to continue with our awesome spare ship. Oh, uh, that, that's okay, that's massive. That's next to Cooper's, you know, farm. Okay, that's the body. Okay. Well, that's that. Okay, I, could, I thought that was gonna be bigger, but okay. That, that's not big, you know, that's not small, like, don't get me wrong, but. But that's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely masterful. You've outdone yourself. Yep. Wow. That, that's an airship, all right. Can't wait to see it in action. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Did we really make that? Somebody pinch me. Yeah, just let me pinch myself first. I should steal enemy blueprints more often. A green sandrock with this level of development. Everyone's going to go nuts at the summit. They'll hardly recognize the place. Well, <laughs> I know a few folks who'd recognize it. Hmm, Theo, Martel. Yeah, well... It needs a name. Oh, true. We were so busy making it happen, I hadn't even thought about that. Just calling the airship airship? <laughs> we're kind of like those kinds of people who never name their mounts and just call their horse horse. Oh, I don't know anyone like that. I'm not saying it's a lot of people. Here, horse. Come here, horsey. <laughs> not ringing any bells at all? Lore's open to suggestions, folks. Osimo Neo Prime Echo Yonikin's Epoch X. Percent sign. You were ready for that one. Okay. Mm. Uh, hmm. Any other suggestions? <laughs> yes. That would be appropriate. In a way, we could let Marto fly over and see all we've done. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. I like it too. Sounds good to me. Ditto. Indubitably. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. That's settled then. Someone needs to test it, by the way. As confident as I am in our design, it would simply be bad practice to allow our free alliance representatives to take an especially maidenly maiden voyage. I will take it up with justice. We'll take it out at night, so when everyone sees it at the summit celebration, it'll be for the first time. Very well. Let us all retire. If you're not awakened by explosions tonight, assume that our airship has been a success. Explosion? I don't know about that. Explosions, come on. 18,000 gear, good, that's a lot of money. And we've got a new gear that we cannot wear because we're not even level 60, we're not even level 50, we're 47th. So, I guess it's harder to get levels, or at least I'm not doing it correctly, I don't know. But don't, I don't know how to subscribe, you know, hit that like, subscribe button, like button, you know, down below the video, you know, it helps. So, let's go put all that stuff inside and see what the next day does to do, because probably it's gonna be the summit or something, I don't know. Probably, probably not, I have no idea. Uh, there is, there is space for that, cool. Yeah, we're gonna be, seems we're not gonna have probably sandstorms anytime soon, probably. We're gonna do that. Yep. Alright. Next day it is. Alright, no, nothing nearly happens, okay. We have a mail. So, tomorrow. Great. Rome Trudy. That's the schedule. Cool. From Venti. Okay, that's a nice suite. So, 
Money matters, ok, that's a lot of, uh, lot of stuff, a lot of things. Ok, let's keep that on us. There are some people that want to hug out, no, yeah, we're not gonna hug out, but uh, do we need to? Ok, I don't think we need that, but uh, Grace, let's see what Grace needs. If it's something interesting, you know. It's gonna be interesting. We're not gonna take a, like a commission to the like. We have money like that. Eight thousand did us good for a bit, of course. We're gonna need more, but uh, you know we can take a break and have. Uh, let's see what Grace has. Okay, so my custom drinks are a hit. Owen thinks they're great. And long story short, I'm going to open a little booth right out in front of the blue moon. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be a nice way to kind of retire. Just sit behind the juice bar, squeeze fresh fruit into a glass, listen to folk tell me their stories. Can you help me with the booth? I think you just need a few materials and you could pop one up right there by the blue moon. What do you say? Should be no trouble for the hero builder of Sandrock. Great, I've got a few final things I can get ready, but when you have the materials you need, go ahead and build up the booth outside the blue moon. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's more like it. That's more like it. Let's go build the booth. We need some cast iron pipe. Now that's gonna take a sec. Still better. We have the perfect cell. We have the bronze plates. Yep. We have everything. Citrus infused avenue. Avenue. Okay. So, do I need to include the magic mirror again? No. We're gonna be fine. Okay, that's a lot of stuff that I didn't get. Nice. We need some casting pipes. Okay, let's make a few. Why not? And uh, do we need to increase? Yeah. Yeah, we took a hit uh, yesterday with all the stuff running. Yeah. That's something that we needed. Something cool, something interesting. Yeah, the factory made the game way, way easier in the late game. I wish we had it in the early game though, or at least in the mid game, just make it harder, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, these are working just fine. We have the mirror to go around and grab them. How long would that would take? 36 seconds which means we can pop real quick in the commerce guild to see if anything in particular that we can get something that's you know real fast real quick just to see you know of course we are our first and the best and anything that's remotely interesting Yeah, we can take that. Or that. That's easy. And we have plenty of these. And yeah, there, there was a few easy quests. So let's go get them actually. Easy quests. You know, easy stuff. Thank you. Man, it's money like and also getting workshop points we're getting a hundred per not that great okay that must be Ushuan I believe yep right thank you Eight cactus horn for rhino horn cactus for that much more in yeah that that's that was we can't drop him from that like like we I remember that we used to you know be hard to get them but uh, you know now we are rich <laughs> I 
Okay, let's go make that and probably we're gonna end the, end the, the day there and go to the next day probably to see all the cool, cool, cool people arriving and the schedule and uh, yeah. Outside, it would be great if it was inside. Yeah, who knows? Not bad. All right, Sandrak, get ready to squeeze the day. <laughs> I was in a bad mood before, but I've really come around on the name. Looks good. I can't wait to start. I'll start moving things in. Should be ready to open tomorrow. Don't forget to come by. Uh, Grace is best friend, uh, relationship. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the perk that uh, helps with associates and friends and uh, that, that really helps speed up things quite a bit in terms of uh, making people friends real quick, real fast. And also a lot of that stuff. Oh, okay. No, yep. Hmm. All right. Where is our, where are all of these people? Okay. Bright and early. I was just about to check our fine associates here into the Blue Moon before heading to City Hall for the big summit meeting. Oh, hello. Greetings. We're all quite excited to meet with you and everyone else, but we need to take care of a bit of business first. In the meantime, why don't you check around town? We have speakers in Marble Square and on both of the Blue Moon stages all day covering a variety of topics. I sent everyone an event schedule by mail. Check your mailbox if you haven't already. I'm a bit miffed myself, having to miss out on Moose's talk about money management. <sighs> but perhaps you can fill me in. Later on in the evening, we'll finish our summit and all head over to Luna's performance on the Blue Moon stage, followed by a fireworks show. Then tomorrow, we'll announce the results of the summit, followed by a huge banquet in the Blue Moon to celebrate. Rounding it all off with the maiden voyage of our airship on the morning after. Mayor Trudy, daylight's wasting. Shall we? Uh, just a moment. Hello, Miss Luna. So wonderful to finally make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, ma'am. <laughs> Where shall I put my things? Uh, what is all of that? Only the essentials, Miss Mayor. Makeup. Wardrobe, microphones, tables, pyrotechnics. But don't worry, my delightful roadies are here to take care of everything. They're the best. Say hi, guys. Yo, hiya. Oh, hello. Well, if you're sure you've got it, I'm sure. Please, Ms. Mayor, we're professionals. You just sit back, relax, and leave the entertainment to us. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Miss Luna. I'll just go with our other guests then. About time. See you after the summit. And enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Hey, hi. I'm Luna. <laughs> Superstar. I wouldn't go that far. Ooh, that rhymed. Maybe one day, though. Wait a sec. The superstar here is you. You're that builder. My brothers told me all about you. They told me you're the best in and out of the workshop. Say, was it really you who shot that lady into space? Or, never mind. Tell me all about it later. Oh, or, you know my brother, right? Seen him around at least. Pen in hand, nose always buried in a book. 
he's supposed to be here as a matter of fact. Luna! Here you are. There's my big brother. What happened? You said you were just coming for a visit, and now you live here? Well, you know me. I change my mind about as often as you change your hair color. Oh, come on. I change my hair way more. No, I miss you so much. I missed you too. Right. Is everything okay at home? Home? I haven't been back in a long time. I've been doing shows down south lately. But I read in the newspaper that Ma won another singing award and Pa's newspaper is getting bigger. I love it here. Everywhere is sand and cactus. It's just so wildernessy. And you, Ernie, is everything okay here? <laughs> yes, I kind of felt the same way. But it's rare to hear that from you. Everything is good for me here. I've made a lot of friends and even gotten more inspiration. I've just been talking with your friend here. So this is the five-star builder you told me about? That's right. My friend is now famous throughout the whole Alliance. I'll say. And hmm, Sandrock is also becoming more and more famous within the Alliance. I'll have to book more shows here in the future. So, you're headlining the summit? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you'll make the same mistake as last time and sing the wrong lyrics like you did at Atara Fest. You... <laughs> There's no way I'd make the same mistake twice. Just wait. I'll give the most perfect performance of my life in Sandrock. Sorry, I have to go rehearse now. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. I'd better help my sister out. Enjoy the summit. Okay, we have a huge uh, summit thing to do. Okay, let's go where the quest wants us, apparently. It's right here, so apparently. Probably something with Musa's thinking, I believe. Or at least something. I have no idea. I read the schedule, but I don't remember. Smile, Avery. I know you'd rather be back at headquarters, but everyone's here to welcome us. If only General Ling hadn't insisted that I join the summit. Hey, you've been to Sand Rock before. I'm sure you're mistier. Ah, glad to see you again, Builder. This is my colleague, Mr. Gaudi. You must be the Builder everyone's been talking about. The pleasure is all mine. I can't wait to see what you've accomplished in Sand Rock. Mr. Gaudi is our chief engineering consultant, a very capable builder himself. He's working with us on the planning of the North Development Plan at the Borders. We're lucky to have his help. I'm sure you'll have a lot to discuss. Yes. And here's Avery, trying to shrug me off and secretly plotting his revenge against Duvos. I only have the safety of the Alliance in mind. I often have to remind this guy that the whole point of the development plan is to keep the peace for as long and as wide as possible. That's why we're focused on bringing in talented people and resources to those areas. While everything is in the early stages, it presents a fantastic opportunity for someone like you to become a settlement governor if you join the plan. They oversee the design and development of an entire town, going beyond the limits of a workshop yard. Indeed, it's challenging but also thrilling. I'm looking forward to sharing our progress with other representatives at the summit and getting their input on our next steps. Or we could discuss with the reps of the possibility of forming a fast response plan in case Duvos ever plots another move. In any case, it was good seeing you again and an honor to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see plenty more of each other tomorrow at the banquet. Till then. Cool. So. Let's see the program because or it's too early to do anything. So yeah, man is here with with Musa. How to get one and one to six by Larry? Oh, Larry is gonna talk. Okay. Interior state nine to twelve. Okay. By Gaudi. Okay. Well, there is a few things in here. There is a few stuff over here, okay. So we need to wait, like, to for the day to pass, for some things to appear. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes, and if I see something interesting, I will bring you back. 
All right, I'm back. Let's listen to Mr. Stinky. Success uh, is preparation plus opportunity. Profit and revenue are not the same thing. Which brings me to my conclusion. At the end of the day, it's all just supply and demand. Never invest in something you don't understand. Success is preparation plus opportunity. Profit and revenue are not the same thing. Okay, that was just that. Sound just uh, sound a bit not much actually, but uh, anything interesting here? I said sure. A sand rockers, well, shots. We're some of the most welcoming. <laughs> Now, I know all y'all didn't come out here just to see me. What is a rutabaga? Well, the free lines now. If a duck ever steals your fish before you run and get your shotgun. Now, that lady is up there floating around in space. They wanted us to be the opening act for Luna. I said, sure. A sand rockers. Well, okay, so. <laughs> He's keeping stuff. Okay. Anything inside the blue moon? Okay. Okay, Greg. Hello out there to all you moles and mullets, and welcome to my jet dog. I'm here today to tell you all that your prince or princess is out there, somewhere waiting for you. But it might not be just who you think it is. Who of you was once like me, madly in love with your best friend? But they just didn't feel the same way as you. Yes, and how did that turn out for you? <laughs> Heartbreak, loss of a friend? A downward spiral of bitterness and regret. A feeling that perhaps you could never love again. Oh, and after you shoot your shot and get shut down, you have to season every single day and pretend like everything is fine when both of you know that it totally isn't. And, whew, talk about awkward. Well, I'm here to offer a bit of advice. Sure, let's stay a bit. You mustn't do is blame yourself. Alas, I am rejected. There must be something wrong with me. Something I do not see. No, no. But on the other hand, you cannot blame your crush either. I'm charming. I'm lovely. I'm so good at digging holes. What kind of stupid princess would reject moi? No, no, no. Even the best of moles are rejected. You! Did you choose to fall in love with your friend? No. It simply happened. You never had a choice. And when you feel no love for another, alas, this is no choice either. So you must see that some things in life there is really no rhyme or reason to. They just are. You cannot logic your way into someone loving you. If you find it too difficult to meet with your friend, if obsessive thoughts cross your mind, if you feel jealousy or hope that somehow maybe they are starting to change their mind and you just need to try a little harder, then you must spend time with others that you love, but those that do not spark that madness of passion. Shout out to my mole, Gatsby, who helped me through the darkest of times. No problem, bro. <laughs> After spending a bit of time at home doing some self-care, we got out, started hanging with some moles outside of our usual kingdom group, and, well, I met someone. You're doing great, Fade. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jadina. Ah, we met at an underground party. I was like, I'm Jed. And she was like, I'm Jadina. And we were like, 
No way, that's a huge coincidence. And the rest is history. So, if it can happen to me, it can happen to you too. Thank you for coming to my shit talk. Uh, Greg. 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 Yeah, that was cool. Do we have anything else inside the Blue Moon Saloon? Not really. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. If there is something to trigger or at least somewhat be there. It looks like Musa is talking. Like all of these people are talking. Okay, do we have anything inside here? We'll just Hi, have to wait. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Master Verna. Oh, come now. Don't act like such a stranger. I won't bite. Ah? Uh? Unless you lost that competition on purpose. Then I might have to take a little nibble. Well, the thing is, I kind of did. Ugh. I knew it. You're not mad? Are you kidding me? I'm furious. But if there's one thing I've learned about you, Heidi, you're just gonna do what you're gonna do. So, water under the bridge. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, yeah. So this is all your stuff, huh? Uh-huh. I recognize that from one of your blueprints. That's the school, huh? That's correct. One of the best educational facilities in the Ufala. State of the art. This is the state of art, isn't it? Did you really have to make it so... square? I mean, it wouldn't have killed you to do something with that fence. It's just... four slabs of concrete. The mayor and I decided the budget would be better put toward learning materials. We have a lot of underprivileged kids from out in the desert coming here to learn. I see. I'll see sharing this series of scathing scalia lest I seem like a stony-hearted swine. Subject change. Who's your builder? Well, wouldn't you know it. Good. You. I've seen enough. Come work for me. What do they pay you here? I'll double it. Eh. Uh, can't blame me for trying. Fine, have it your way. Well, don't be too proud of yourself, Heidi. You got lucky. Hey, 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 hey. Easy now. I'm not saying it was all luck, but, uh, look. A lot of stars aligned to make this all happen for you. You remove one piece of the puzzle, the whole tower comes crashing down. Take your builder. Here, for example. What do you do without him, huh? One missing piece? House of cards? Crash, bang, boom, etc. You're done. Pretty sure 99% of everybody would disagree with you, but you know what? I guess we'll never know. Make no mistake, I ain't trying to take away what you all done. It's incredible. But like I said, you can't just ignore the series of fortunate events that led to your success. Eh, it was a mixed bag. Certainly, I prefer having you in every conceivable scenario, but I'd like to think we could have maybe squeaked by if it weren't for the whole conspiracy to dry up the town thing. Yeah, all right, I can concede that. Uh, it may surprise you, but in fact, I did not come here to argue. So I'll say no more on the matter. Feedback received. Heidi! You really tick me off. But dang it, you're a heck of an architect. I'm proud of you. Ha! <laughs> I'll take that. Good, because it's all you're gonna get. Now let's get to celebrating. Where's a place to sit down? My butt's killing me. Sure. Let me show you to the blue moon. We'll catch you inside. How is Mrs. Penelope? <sighs> Sadly, Mrs. Penelope von Snorsenheimer passed away last year. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. She was doing what she loved. Okay, okay. Cool. So we have various cutscenes with various people. Okay, let's go inside the city hall. No, we can't. No, no, no. Okay, let's take uh, the schedule again. So this is so this is later. Uh, we have the Greg talk. That's at one. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So there is a few things that we can do, but uh, of course we cannot the do them at the moment. But uh, yeah, the episode is going along a little bit. We're going to cut in here and we can come back when a little bit of time is passed until like for probably six thing in here. Like this one and probably listen to this one, one of the two, we will see. And uh, one of the two probably. Like of Larry or Justice, we're gonna see those two, and of course, uh, yeah, Cooper is gonna be all day there, all day good, and we'll have this later. So, we're gonna do this in the next episode. So, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button, and I will see you in the next episode of my time at Sandrock. Have a great day, people. Bye.